Are you searching for a good doctor? Find out why we are your top choice. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the link below in order to find out more. What does it mean if you have primary pulmonary hypertension? I have heard all of those words on their own, but certainly upon first glance didn't know what they meant together. With a little reading, though, I understood what primary pulmonary hypertension was. Pulmonary hypertension is actually a disorder where your blood pressure in the arteries is higher than it should be it is primary if there are no other disorders present. This can cause a number of health issues. For one thing, in severe cases of primary pulmonary hypertension, the right side of the heart ends up working harder than usual to pump your blood against the high blood pressure in your arteries. After long periods of this, the right side of your heart becomes enlarged which causes it to function poorly. Fluid will begin to collect in your ankles and belly and then, eventually, the left side of your heart will begin to fail. If your heart fails as a result of primary pulmonary hypertension it is called COR pulmonal. Heart failure as a result of pulmonary hypertension is caused by varying combinations of a number of disorders like emphysema, fibrosis, or chronic bronchitis. However, if you get pulmonary hypertension without any of these other disorders it is called primary pulmonary hypertension. It is more commonly found in men than it is in women, but its cause is not known at this time. When the pulmonary hypertension comes as a result of the other disorders, it is called secondary pulmonary hypertension. It is more common than primary pulmonary hypertension. Secondary may be a result of pulmonary thromboembolism, COPD, or congenital heart disease. Since any of these can cause that rise in blood pressure that results in the symptoms discussed above. Obviously if you find that you have either primary pulmonary hypertension or secondary pulmonary hypertension you are already under a doctor's care. He or she may try oxygen therapy that will help to improve alveolar oxygen flow. You may also be asked by your physician to avoid vigorous exercise and to go through chest physiotherapy. The treatment for either type of pulmonary hypertension is basically the same. What is most important, though, is that you follow the advice of your physician closely as primary pulmonary hypertension can be very serious as can anything relating to the health of your heart. Whether you find that you have primary pulmonary hypertension or secondary pulmonary hypertension you may find that you are a little upset or nervous. You have good reason because they are very serious disorders. However, if you listen to your doctor, take care of yourself, and keep a positive mindset you may find that you can overcome the problem. Heart conditions of any sort are obviously something to take seriously, so if you have any questions or concerns about primary pulmonary hypertension you should consult your physician and make sure you completely understand what is happening and what you should be doing to help yourself. Pulmonary hypertension, pH, as the name suggests is a lung disorder. When the blood blood pressure levels in the pulmonary artery, vein, or capillaries is increased, it causes to the disease known as the lung vasculature, which in turn is leading to fainting, dizziness, shortness of breath or other various symptoms. They all are exacerbated by exertion. 
it is areous and incurable, though fortunately rare. In order to establish the cause, whether the disease might be familial, the physician will generally conduct a detailed family medical history. PPH is sometimes referred to as pulmonary arterial high blood pressure or by another recent name, idiopathic pulmonary arterial hypertension, IPAH. Each year in the United States, an estimated 500 to 1,000 new cases are diagnosed, most of them women between the ages of 20 and 40. However, both genders and any age can develop PPH. According to the American Lung Association, there were 3,065 deaths attributed to PPH in 2000. Basically this lung disorder negatively impacts the flow of blood from the lungs to the heart and results in high blood pressure in the pulmonary artery, which is responsible in carry low oxygen blood from the right ventricle of the heart to the lungs.